Our daughter, Yvonne, who most of you know and definitely love, is graduating from high school, so we are making her graduation dinner today, and her favorite meal is pork tacos. So I'm getting the pork cut up. I've made this for you all before. I'm using pork loin. You can use pork roast, you know. I use dark meat. Um, but this also, what I'm going to do, I've done it with steak. Oh, it was so good. Blade steak. I've done it with chicken. I mean, it's just taco seasoning, right? So we're going to do homemade taco seasoning because I am completely out of my homemade taco seasoning. So I'm going to do myself a double batch. I like this so much better than store-bought taco seasoning because... Ugh, don't want to touch it. The store-bought has things like soybean oil, um, silicone, silicon dioxide. I don't need that. So I like it being able to do my own malodextrin. Don't need that. Then I know exactly what's in it. So my husband Robin is going to be making homemade corn tortillas for these. We're going to make some guacamole, whoops, and I'll show you all of that. We're going to decorate the dining room for graduation. Oh, did you get the ice cream cake? Yeah. Okay. Got her an ice cream cake. He went to the store while I recorded a video of my closet declutter, which you should have seen yesterday. If not, you can just click on my face. It'll take you to my channel and click on videos, you know, like, so it'll show you whatever was most recent and it would be the one before this one. Okay. So we're getting this cut up. You don't have to cut it, but I like to cut it because then it just cooks faster. But if you don't cut it, then you can do like shredded pork, which I will kind of still shred it. Um, because the meat is cold, of course, I have not turned on my crock pot yet because you put cold stuff in a cold crock pot and hot stuff in a hot crock pot. So I'm just chunking this all up. Honestly, I could have gotten away with one, but what I think I'm actually going to do with the leftovers is freeze them. And then the next time she's craving pork tacos, we could just take it out and thaw it out and have pork tacos again. So it's going to turn out to be a freezer meal as well. If we have extra, which I'm pretty positive we have, because how much pork do you really put on one taco shell? Some people will do it in a taco shell. Others like it over rice. So we'll make up some rice as well. Oh, do we buy rice? Yes. Oh, good. Whew. <laughs> I don't think I had that on the list, did I? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So I've made this so many times. I don't stick 100% to the recipe necessarily, but you need oil and taco seasoning, which I'm going to show you my homemade one. It's not really mine. It's from Meals at Heal cookbook, and you need your favorite salsa. So now that I have this in here, I will turn this on. I'm going to start on high, and then later on, I'll put it on low. All right, I'm going to wash my hands, and then we'll make some taco seasoning. To make this, we're going to be using chili powder, ground cumin, salt, paprika, garlic powder, oregano, and cornstarch. So I'm going to be doubling this, as I said, if I have enough chili powder, because it calls for a quarter cup of chili powder. So if I have a half cup, I am going to go for it, because I want to have a lot of taco seasoning. Luckily, I had bought one because I knew that I was going to be making some of this soon. Strangely, one of the chili powders was kind of, is this a different, nope, same thing, but one of them was more brown and the other one was more orange. Yep, I'm going to have a half cup, definitely. I 
can hear dogs. I can hear chipmunks outside. I love it. I love having my windows open. We have had the best thing. All right, put that in there without spilling it. I spilled some of it, so we'll just add a little more. All right. There's my chili powder. And then, what a mess. Uh, it says two tablespoons of ground cumin, so I'm going to do four. Some more cumin and four. And then one tablespoon of salt, so I'll do two. Use kosher salt if you have it, that's what it really calls for. But I don't have any, so I'm just going to use my regular salt. And then it says one tablespoon of paprika, so I'll use two. One, two, one tablespoon of garlic powder. That could be a little dicey if I have two, but let's try it. We do so much scratch cooking, we run out of spices quite easily. Oh, I have almost two. So I'll probably just add, let's see if I have more. Um, two teaspoons of oregano, so I'll do four. So I didn't have any more garlic powder, but I think it's fine. One, two, three, Four. And then cornstarch is one tablespoon. And then it also calls for a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I don't use that because I'm allergic to it. I have a sensitivity to it. So everybody just puts on their own if they want cayenne pepper. And then so it calls for one tablespoon of cornstarch. So I am going to use two. And then what I do is I get everything out of my way. What a mess. Look at my mess. Put the lid on. And then you just shake it. And now it's ready to use. And I have it labeled. And even with doubling it, I mean, honestly, if I were to fill this thing, I probably should use a smaller jar that would fit better in my cabinet. All right, so now the taco recipe. It calls for two tablespoons of this seasoning. Oh, the cornstarch kind of all stuck up here, so maybe I will stir it a little. So I'm going to use four because it says one pound of pork. And I know I definitely have more than one pound here. So we're going to use four tablespoons of this. One, two, three, four. And you know, I could have eyeballed it, honestly. It's not, oh, that was a little light. It's not that big a deal. And then a half teaspoon of salt, so they're putting in more salt. So I'll do a teaspoon. And then two teaspoons of olive oil, but I always use avocado oil. So I'm going to double that with my spoons. So two would be four teaspoons, which is a tablespoon and a teaspoon. 
And there's a tablespoon. And a teaspoon. Two cups of salsa. So here's where we, this is 24 ounces. Actually, I guess that would be enough if I just did that. Oh, no, I want four cups, don't I? So that was probably like 16 ounces. Actually, that's two cups. And this is picante. Let's use that. 16 ounces is two more cups. There we go. And now I'm just going to stir it. And then we're going to cook it. And once the pork's cooked, it's done. Actually, you want the pork to really fall apart. So it's 11 o'clock in the morning. I have it on high. And when I feel like it's really cooked, I'll turn it down to low. And then worse comes to worse. You can always put it on warm if it's like getting near to being like overcooked. I'm just going to stir it around so that the pork seasoning gets into the salsa. Or not pork seasoning, taco seasoning. Fix this. I use a wooden spoon in here because I am always making a hole in these knives. All right, put that on. One of you told me you don't do the clips. That's for transportation purposes only, that you can actually have too much pressure in here and it can explode. Have you ever heard that? So we're not gonna do that, all right? Okay, mood shift. Does anyone else think that it is therapy to watch a husband empty a dishwasher or do any form of housework? So I thought this was the most appropriate music to put along with it. To make the homemade corn shells, we follow the directions on the back of the mesa flour, masa flour, either way, masa flour, um, and you can get this right at Dollar General. So we did two cups of the corn flour. We do a cup and a half of water. Another thing we love that, about this is it is gluten-free, so my gluten-free daughter can have it as well. And now he's just mixing it up with his hand. And if you mix it all up and you incorporate all the water, and you could use a pastry combiner too if you wanted to, but if you notice it's a little bit dry, you're just gonna be adding a little bit of water. Just add a little bit at a time and mix it around until all of the corn flour incorporates. Now he's done this a lot, so he's a lot more confident to just dump that water, but you could do it like a tablespoon or a teaspoon at a time. And so then he's kind of kneading it 
together and he's going to show you his timer. Really, he's doing it for two minutes. Maybe he doesn't show the timer because it was blurry and I think I might have edited it out. <laughs> Either way, he's going to mix it together for two minutes and then he's going to cover it with plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator. On the back of the bag, it says that you can put it in the refrigerator for up to a week. So he's doing it for 30 minutes because it's always easier to work with cooled dough than it is to work with warm dough. While that dough is cooling, I'm up with some guacamole. So what I'm doing here, and this affords you leftovers, I guarantee. However many people are eating guacamole, tonight I am doing one avocado each. And especially when I have company, I always want to have extra. You know, you never want to feel like people are trying to be polite and not wanting to take the last of anything because that seems to be a thing. Nobody wants to take the last piece, the last scoop. So it works out better to have leftovers. And let me give you a little trick to keep your guacamole or your avocado from turning brown in the refrigerator. Take a piece of saran wrap, press it down on top of the guacamole so that it's completely covering it but literally touching it at every point and that will keep the oxygen from hitting the guacamole and it will keep it from turning brown the lime juice does help so I don't have a recipe I just dump so I'm dumping lime juice and then I'll taste test it I'll dump some more in so if you look up a recipe for guacamole I'm adding salt. I'm also going to add garlic here, minced garlic, a couple of really big plops, right? You can't have too much garlic. I'm telling you, I guess you can, but substitute the lemon juice for lime. You will not be sorry. Do it and let me know how it turned out. Hey, hey. I'm just going to try some real quick. Oh, that is so so here I am stirring my guacamole. Do you want to put the onions in the tomatoes in first? Um, sure. Here I am putting in my onions and onions and tomatoes. You guys know how much my family loves tomatoes. So. And red onion. And onion. Purple onion. They purple onions, red onions. Red All onions. All the onions that aren't white onions. Whoops, that piece didn't get cut. This piece did though. Ah! <laughs> yeah. And as you can see, it looks like Mexican guac. Mm-hmm. Alright, go ahead, Chef. And Yvonne has to taste try, so here I'm going to chip. Yum, yum, yum. How is it? Mmm, that's bossing. Thank you. Mmm, sell that on eBay, baby. Mmm. I was making the guacamole early, and so I am going to go ahead and put this saran wrap right, see how I'm pressing it right on top of the guacamole, and that will keep it from turning brown. I prefer the cheapo saran wrap, not this press and seal. This press and seal actually drives me a little bit crazy because sometimes it's hard to pull it out of the box and it just gets all messed up. I was so frustrated. I'm pretty sure at some point I needed my husband's help with it. <laughs> Hey, 
thing with this stuff. I hate it. Here, I can do it. You just need one to cover that. Is that all you need? Nice. You did, huh? Honey. Gotta self-care. What you do is self-care. Robin is getting his tortillas ready to fry and so what he does is he's going to roll them out on parchment paper but he's going to divide up the balls first and the directions say to divide it up into 19 balls but he likes to weigh his and they're all between 37 and 40 grams and that way he knows that they're all going to be very uniform. This is as good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Good day today. It's a good.
Hey guys, so this is the before, this is how it was before, and in an hour or two, you're going to see that I'm going to look completely different, so I'm going to do a transition to show you guys how I look. I got these at the dollar store, I have that in my storefront. Everything here is linked in my bio, but I got everything at the dollar store. <laughs> so most of these are about 40 grams. Honestly, guys, if you're on a budget, it's the, the dollar store. I'm telling you. <laughs> because, look at, see? Because look, yeah. look at how gorgeous, guys. You can make an expensive graduation be cheap with the dollar store. You're a really cheap person. Mm -hmm. So, I will hashtag the dollar store so we can get more free stuff, but I'm just letting you know the dollar store. So here I am putting up some decorations, the cats are watching me. Period. Tell them, girl. I didn't get any plates, but... The key is to actually turn it. Keep on. But yeah. And do it again. Then I got this congrats grad, oh, I just ripped the table. and I just ripped the tablecloth, and that's why I'm saying it's cheap quality at the dollar store, but we love that for our family, so... <laughs> Chris, you already broke them. So here I am getting more tape for the eighth time for the tablecloth. For the tablecloth, if the tape company could please send me more tape, that would be amazing. Because when the gifts come around during the holidays, you know, tape is expensive and it's hard to find. So yeah, here is Woo's getting ready. Good morning. And here I am taping these red. That's okay, it's a spray bond. What did you do? They're gonna ruin my wall, but that's okay. It's just what spray bond? Congrats, Grad. I'm a hole. Show the little piece. You get the toes. And this is Yvonne's face right here. <laughs> He's so cute. Good morning. Oh, my cute. Crazy mad. So now, you only take a few seconds like that. All right, here I am hanging up more decorations. Because you know, I had like $10 to spend. She had $10 to spend, so everything I'm assuming cost about $20. Right? All right, you ready to go, Ben? Yeah. So that's why I thought you would. Oh, more like. See a few minutes of it. Like, I'm crazy. just upstairs to get ready. Oh. You know? mm -hmm. So in Central America, you can go to the market. Robin, they have to go upstairs and, and get ready stack now. Stack at 20. One of my biggest motivations when I started my YouTube channel was I really wanted to help other women to be able to relax and enjoy what they're doing in their home because I know how stressful it can be. And I struggle with anxiety and I'm getting older. I don't have as much energy. And so one of the things that I've really learned is key is starting things a lot earlier than you need to. Sometimes even the day before. Sometimes it's okay to go a day without using your dining room table if getting your dining room table done ahead of time works for you. Doing the guacamole where you can do it ahead and put it away by putting saran wrap on it. That is one of the things I always want to be showing you is how we can do these things and enjoy them more and not be so tired when company comes that we really cannot enjoy that them coming you know so the dough that my husband is pressing on the tortilla press and he's frying it he has two pans going you know you could have done this dough like let's say you don't have someone else to help you like I have my husband to help maybe your husband doesn't like to cook there's the finished um, table you could have done this a week before made the dough and then it would be all ready for you to press the day of 
Most of the time, we're just buying the corn tortillas from the store or flour, whichever we like. But it is nice when you're having a celebration to do something that is just a little bit extra. And I have to say, these actually hold together way better than the store-bought ones. You know how those ones can break? And the flour you can get right at Dollar General, so it's not very expensive. So, you know, when you have a celebration coming... It's okay to, you know, and actually preferable, whatever you can do ahead to do ahead and then you're not stressed. I tend to go to Mexican a lot whenever we're having company because I feel like everybody likes Mexican food and I do it as a buffet style. You put on it what you want. In fact, when I had my sister and her friend over, I did steak and pork and then they could choose which meat they like. Most people like tacos, you know, corn tortillas are great because you don't have to worry about if anyone is gluten-free as, as well as the homemade taco seasoning. You know, you don't have to worry about allergies as much. You can ask people, for example, I have a son who has a resistance to chili powder. And so whenever I do it for him, I just leave out the chili powder and then it's super easy. You know, a lot of times cooking from scratch makes it a lot easier to handle whenever somebody has um, a food sensitivity or allergy. We really had a lot of fun. Uh, Ava's boyfriend ended up coming over. Yvonne had her one of her besties over. So we had food, they played drawful on the TV, which is a drawing game where you, you're get basically guessing what somebody was trying to draw, and they played bocce ball outside as well as frisbee. It just was a fun, easygoing time. Of course, we did gifts, and I'm going to show you the finished tortilla shells, and then I will let you see our little graduate and... Um, We'll call that a day. We'll call that a video. Okay, guys. So remember when I said that I was going up to just get ready? Well, I'm all ready. Here's the hair from the back. And then from the front, Ava did edges. And she curled these by hand. And then I got this dress from Hollister. Like, while we were going to North Carolina. And then I got this cute bag. I don't know if I went with this. So I got this at Marshalls. Oh, Dad, that's so cute. See? Then here's Dad. has got to look sharp. <laughs> with this shirt, this new one. Where'd you get that at? Oh, Family Dog, right? Yeah, congratulations. Thanks, Dad. It's an awesome, awesome thing. Thanks, Dad. Very cool. And, yeah, so. And you, too, can graduate from high school. Congratulations. You can hey. do it. So yeah, guys, I don't know if the bag really goes with this because it's gold and then I'm wearing silver. It's nice. It's very nice. So yeah, so I don't know, but I got this at Marshall's last night. The original price, $70 for Juicy Couture. Couture, I don't know. Then here is the up close. Look at how gorgeous that design is. And this is how it looks like in the back. So yeah. Oh, made it blurry. So yeah, then I got my necklace, I think from Walmart, but I can't remember. The earrings are Walmart, all Walmart. And the dress is Hollister. So yeah, so now we're all almost ready to get the party started with the food out. And we got pork tacos for dinner with guacamole, peppers, rice, my favorite lettuce, tomatoes, black olives, and homemade tortillas. Say it with me. God loves you, and I love you too, and I can't wait to see you next time.